Hi, here's Finn's here. I'm back for another video, and today I am very excited because it's me reacting to another Eurovision video today, and it's time for Ireland. Potato. <laughs> Always want to say that. Um, yes, Ireland. They've kept very quiet this year for their entrance for Eurovision. I was really hoping they were going to, like, you know, they were going to announce something big because they've kept quite quiet about their performer, but obviously it's a newcomer, so it's it's not the person I was expecting, but still, nevertheless. Uh, Ireland in Eurovision, they're the champions, of course, winning seven times, but they haven't won in, like, over two decades. Uh, but I do root for Ireland, because, you know, the my, my neighbour country, kind of UK Ireland, you know, I do root for them. I, would, I am sad when they don't qualify, but they qualified last year, and I was really happy for Ryan O'Shaughnessy with Song Together. Oh, th that staging was beautiful, I, in my opinion. I was really happy, and yes, they did deserve to qualify last year. A lot of people said, oh, Ireland should have stayed in the semi-finals. Well, actually, I think they deserved it. They really deserved it. They really had a good idea, and they did it well last year. Um... But yes, what are my favourite? My favourite winner is, you, I might not be expecting me to say that, but uh, my favourite winner is, but it's 1993, In Your Eyes, In Your Eyes. I like, I love that song. I know it's got 25 years ago or 26 years ago, but um, Neva did amazing voice, amazing talent. I was really happy for her. Um, yeah, that's my favourite Irish winner, actually. I quite like her. Well, one of my favourites. Um, I like Jedward. Um, obviously, I liked, liked Ryan last year. But in recent years, I think Carolyn and K featuring Casey Smith, Heartbeat. Oh, that was such a good song. Keep your head high above the water We can make it and break the border Hold on to my heartbeat My heartbeat My heart, heartbeat beat. <laughs> It went something like that Oh, that was so good And I was so upset when that didn't qualify Oh, maybe they did do too much staging I don't understand why the dance was in kil um, kilts And they had an Irish flag in the background on the LED But Apart from that, it was such a good song, I was so upset that didn't qualify that year. And that was such a small semi-final they didn't qualify, because I remember there were only 15 countries performing, and there were only going to be five leaving us. And yet, Cheesecake Tio Belarus qualified. You riddle me that. But anyway, I digress. Um, this year, though, Ireland are going to be sending a kind of a newcomer, I would say, this year. It's Sarah McTerran. Taryn, I think as her name is. Um, so she's a, probably a newcomer they've selected this year, which is all right. Um, she probably pop. Well, I don't know if she's popular in Ireland, but I've never heard of her. Which I mean, I think it's better for Ireland to select somebody who's big in Ireland and the UK, so because they know they will get the UK vote. But although she's not quite. Well, she's not, I haven't never heard of her, so um, she might not be as big as the UK, she still could, could have give her a good song. I would have loved, I had somebody in my mind that Ireland could have sent this year, I had Una Healy, remember her from the Saturdays? I would have loved to have seen her go to Eurovision, but maybe she didn't want to, so that was who I would have loved to have seen go through represent Ireland this year. But nevertheless, I digress, Sarah could give us something quality this year something decent. Um, the song is called 22, which is also <laughs> amount of years Ireland hasn't hosted. was the, the, the la 22 years since Ireland hosted last Eurovision, last time they hosted Eurovision, so maybe there's a connection there. Um, and 23 since they won. Um, so yes, maybe Sarah's got something decent, I bet you it's another ballad, but it's a, it could be a ballad done well, you never know. Um, I'm so excited. Oh, I really hope they don't disappoint us either this year. I really hope, because I am going to... If it's really good, I'm going to root for it. Oh, come on, Ireland. Don't let us down. Please, RTE, please give us something good this year for Ireland. They had a credible... Well, they had a really good staging, a good idea last year. Please, what are they going to give us this year? I should stop talking and get on with the music video. Let's see what they're going to send. 
please be something decent, please. Good. Okay, here it goes. Ooh. Pressing play. Oh. Okay. I love this music video. I feel, but to the cinema. Every time somebody I'm confusing him with you anyway. Reminds me of the things we used to do. And I dreamed about the street where we kissed out of the blue and Bit upbeat for Ireland. That's quite nice. from islands yeah i quite like it it was a little ballad which is okay it's something different from Ireland because they've breed on quite a lot of ballads recently so it's quite nice they've chosen a female artist which Ireland haven't selected since molly sterling 22 i thought was a nice song obviously when a uh, song 22 i don't know about you but i'm thinking 22 a taylor swift song but no it's quite nice um is it a standout? No, but it, that doesn't matter. It, is it a winner's song? Maybe not, but it may qualify. Who knows? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I actually quite like it. Um, it was a nice melody. A Twenty. I think if you listen to it more, I think people might grow on it. Um, it was something different from Ireland. I love the music video. It's quite a happy song, you know. You can see a lot of people with their phone um, torch with their phone lights in the audience waving them about, you know. Um, it's going to be quite interesting what they're going to do with staging compared to last year's staging. How maybe they're going to bring back the same sex <laughs> couple again? Who knows? Um, yeah, probably not. But who knows? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm. I quite like that. Um, do I think it's going to qualify? I think Ireland's got a good chance of qualifying. I don't think this is a, like a certain qualifier as much, but I think maybe border. I don't think board, borderline at worst, but I think this is a good shot for Ireland. I don't think Ireland should be ruled out. 
oh, not qualifying. I mean, remember last year, a lot of people said they were gonna like rule like the semi strong semi final last year. Everybody said ruled out Ryan O'Shaughnessy from Ireland last year and thought that was gonna like finish second to last in the semi finals. When really that came like what sixth in the semi final, and both the juries and the televoted put that televoters put that through. Um, in the semi-final, and then in the final it got 16th place, which was a decent result for Ireland, I think. So yes, um, it can be done. Ireland can qualify with good song and a good staging. I really hope the best for Sarah. I think she's got a really nice song, a nice voice, very upbeat, um, not a band from Ireland, but that's okay. Something different. And yes, I really hope good staging. I would love to see this in the final. It's a bit like Denmark's song, um, nice and sweet and nice. Um, and hopefully the song will grow on people. I like it. Is it my favourite Irish entry of all time for Eurovision? No. But is it the worst Irish entry for Eurovision? No. Um, I think it's really nice. I think it's very sweet. Yeah, I really liked it. I'm really happy and I really wish the best for Ireland this year. I really hope they qualify and yeah, I really hope them the best of luck when it comes to Tel Aviv. I think that's all I can say. Um, but yes, comment down below what you think of the Irish entry this year for Eurovision. I quite liked it, did you? You can like this video if you want and you subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for more content very soon and goodbye and potato. <laughs> That's the Irish say. Potato. Bye.